connections to past addictions need to be banished. Utilize your pain to be a step stool for your strength. In order for you to gain muscle, You have to exercise, correct? And so, when you're going through life and you're experiencing different things, you're in school. Those of you who were not aware that you're in school. I'm here to tell you, you're in school. You are learning through your experiences. And the higher achievers are those that begin to utilize their intuition and make better choices. The higher achievers are those who aim at developing themselves in ways that will be beneficial to all. Yourself, but to all. Because when you are living a high vibrational lifestyle, all those in your circle benefit from that. And this is why we have to be very selective with those we align with and with those we allow to enter those circles. This is why it's not necessary to say goodbye. It's necessary to be aligned. Aligned with your highest good. That's the price. Of growing. And being more intimate with God. You have to be willing. To let go. To accept your L's. That's what people are saying now anyway. Your losses. And to tell God. I 
surrender all. I said, I surrender all. You leave ego behind. You leave peer pressure behind. You leave the need of validation behind. And you stand. Or you lay. Or you sit. With God. Remember the first card, Holy Grail, Inner Discovery, Finding Sacredness. You are what you seek. The goal, people. Is to connect with the frequency of our highest self. Again, the reason why we hear We are all connected. We are all connected. We are all connected is because I'm seeing a vision right now. I'm seeing a vision. Of someone writing and taking notes. And I thank God I thank God for that. That's telling me that transformation is occurring. Someone is allowing God in their heart. Someone is surrendering all and I am thankful that I am also seeing Masses of people listening. There's a lot that I'm seeing. I'm seeing children that are happy
They're playing in a fountain of water. And that's telling me that many of you are experiencing healing of your inner child. I see an arm with a rash. And that's telling me that some of you are sick. And there are many different types of sicknesses. Now it could be It could be your inner child that needs healing. And it can also be what I'm seeing. Which is an arm with a rash. Wow. I think um, that will be all (laughs) for today's podcast. Um, I definitely felt the presence of God. I know God was present. And I definitely feel that healing has occurred. And I'm being led to tell you that healing is not a destination. It's a journey. There will be times when you will feel like you you let everything go, like whatever grudges you had or whatever. And you move on with your life. You start focusing on different things and, you know, engaging in different things and so forth. That does not mean that a trigger may never occur. There are times in my life where I could just be watching a movie. And I kid you not, that's my life. (laughs) That's what I experienced. You understand? And so that is a trigger. And in those moments, you need to appreciate that. Because it's helping you to remove the residue. Someone needs to hear that. Pay attention to the movies you watch. Pay attention to the music that you're listening to. Pay attention to what you're attracted to. It's baby steps. You will not find yourself... Knowing everything because we're all learning. We're all teaching each other. That's the goal. You are being encouraged to... (laughs) 